This one's from Noah, though. Hey, Linus and Luke, what are your thoughts on using large language models in game development? <laughs> it's just all AI today. I, feel <laughs> I was like going to say, that's what GPT is. <laughs> I feel uh, like even though they can't have their own opinions, they can be perceived uh, like they do. Yeah. Um, kind of cool. Like if you just walked up, been. if you just like walked up to an NPC, like a random NPC, oh! and could have like a long conversation with them, I feel like it could be really good for immersiveness, but really bad for gameplay. Like it's it's really cool. If, again, if you want to go down a rabbit hole, I've recommended one rabbit hole already this show, but this one's really cool. Um, look into the ways that game developers will try to guide the player through the level, through the experience, uh, be it through um, lighting or um, or or through you know studying uh, player decision making and and creating mazes that are hard, but you can totally get through them. It's there's also incredible. There's... And so muddying up, the important data that the user may gather from from non-player characters with genuinely engaging conversations could be a big problem. <laughs> There's also down that same line uh, in the in the same way that people who design malls and you see a ton of this in Vegas. There's lots of uh like neurological stuff with how you perceive light reflections and different colors of things and whatnot so different malls and whatnot will be designed in a way that they use certain materials on the floors in the hallways and different materials on the floors in the shops uh to to guide you in different directions and yeah. to, to make it difficult to leave that's a yeah. big one um it turns out that you're just a monkey and someone is playing you there's lots of ways to yeah. influence you a and smarter try monkey to do it is all doing the time. it yeah uh there's peoples with doctorate there's lots of people with doctorates whose whole job is to keep you using certain apps and services yeah um, that is totally a thing they're gonna get you um, okay. But yeah, I like that idea. So I, I think Dan even mentioned this in the chat, but ha feed, like one, one of the problems that I would see with that is prompts, but you could feed it prompts based on your, your actions in the game or like your details about your character, stats about your character, all this different type of stuff yep. that could take a in-game conversation to an interesting different level, especially because you can get large language models to speak in certain ways. Like you can get it to speak like a pirate. So like that wouldn't even be, it's probably like, uh, that's pretty cool. A couple of people have brought up how useful it is for Dwarf Fortress because it generates so much text but isn't written very naturally and ChatGPT can like fix it right up, which is pretty cool. 